The Philippine Coast Guard will conduct its first ever trilateral maritime exercise with the United States Coast Guard USCG, and the Japan Coast Guard JCG, in the vicinity of Marivelles, Bataan, from June 1st to July 7th, 2023. Given the ever-increasing tensions in the region, the Coast Guards belonging to the Philippines, the United States, and Japan will set up their first trilateral maritime exercise in the first week of June this year. Just as with other multilateral exercises, this one comes with interoperability in mind. With personnel from different coasts, guards will foster not only camaraderie and teamwork but also expert knowledge relating to the duties. Responsibilities of a maritime law enforcement entity that is manned on board each white-hulled vessel that patrols maritime domains within internationally recognized territorial and exclusive economic zone EEZ, waters. The Philippine Coast Guard PCG, will deploy BRP Melchora Aquino, MRRV 9702, BRP Gabriela Salang, OPV-8301, BRP Boracay, FPB-2401. And 144-meter multi-role response vessel, while the USCG and JCG will send USCGC Stratton, WMSL-752, and Akitsushima, PLH-32, respectively. The PCG acquired the BRP Melchora Aquino, MRRV-9702, and the participating 44-meter MRRV through the Japan International Cooperation Agency, JICA, Department of Transportation, DOTR, Maritime Safety Improvement Project. The PCG-USCG-JCG maritime exercise would strengthen interoperability-aeroperability through communication exercises, maneuvering drills, photo exercises, maritime law enforcement training, search and rescue, SAR, and passing exercises. Participating Coast Guard personnel will demonstrate a scenario involving a suspected vessel involved in piracy. The joint law enforcement team from the three Coast Guards will conduct a boarding inspection followed by a SAR operation. On behalf of PCG Commandant, CG Admiral Artemio M. Abu, PCG Officer in Charge, CG Vice Admiral Rolando Lizer Punzelin Jr., said the PCG USCG JCG maritime exercise would also improve maritime aritime cooperation and understanding. The U.S. Coast Guard and Japan Coast Guard have been assisting us in our human resource development program, particularly in law enforcement training. This is a good opportunity to thank them and show them what our personnel learned from their programs. Furthermore, the week-long engagement will involve a sporting event to strengthen the three Coast Guard's camaraderie. A special interest exchange for women in maritime law enforcement and an expert exchange for PCG personnel's professional development. The PCG will invite U.S. Ambassador to the Philippines Mary Kay Loss Carlson, Embassy of Japan's Deputy Chief of Mission and Minister Kenichi Matsuda. Department of Foreign Affairs, DFA, Secretary Enrique Manalo, DOTR Secretary Jamie Bautista, and JICA Chief Representative in the Philippines Takima Sakamoto to welcome the USCG and JCG contingents through an arrival ceremony at Pier 15, South Harbor, Manila, on June 1, 2023.